Man of Steel is a very controversial film in DC, and it's had a lot of problems and a lot of controversies, mainly surrounding the part where Superman is being portrayed compared to Jesus, which is fucking stupid and should never happen on any circumstance. But it did have its highs, and one of its highs definitely was not the costume design for Superman. This costume, ass. Hot ass. Way too fucking dark. The design is just fucking horrible. What the fuck is that little fucking bubble guppy type shit in the middle? But the overall suit, hot garbage. Hot ass. Absolutely terrible. I fucking hate it. Um, And also, he doesn't really have anything like to resemble that he is Superman. The symbol is a bit small. That's just my opinion. What I'm trying to say is... This suit is just not it. And James Gunn recently revealed the costume for his upcoming Superman film coming in July 2025, if it doesn't get delayed by then. This, this is gorgeous. This, this is everything. This is, this is, this is everything that James Gunn has done right so far with this film. I cannot wait to see this in in the film, but unfortunately, people aren't excited for this suit. People have made some of the most dog shit complaints about this costume. So, this video is a bit different than what I've done in, in the channel for the channel before. I'm mainly going to be talking about the complaints that I've seen about this suit. And just completely downputting it and explaining why those complaints are absolutely fucking nothing. So, I hope you can stick around to the end of this video. Because this is something I've actually wanted to do for a while. I've watched a lot of Mullet Man comics. I've watched a lot of Comic Drake. And honestly, wanted to do this on my own. So, due to in real life circumstances, I am unable to make my other types of content that I would usually make. So I'm going to take this opportunity to try something new. Um, here we go. The funny thing about this is I actually was able to find someone who agrees with me. Shine Comics. He seems like a pretty reasonable guy. If I didn't actually see what he said about the James Gunn Superman suits. What the fuck? Now, before anyone starts throwing shit at me. No, none of this is genuine hatred throwing t towards Shine. I just personally disagree with his opinions, and I personally think he has a lot to reconsider. We'll, we'll put it that way. I do not hate Shine. I only disagree. Okay? Okay. In order to, well be somewhat clear with what I'm going to say, I will have to be a bit brutally honest with you, Shine. Again, not genuine hatred. I am only criticizing what this is saying. There may be a bit over-exaggerated phrases that I'm going to use, but the point is going to be made clear. Now, let's take a look. Shine Comics... His community post reads, The more I look at this photo, the more I hate it. Why the fuck does Superman look so agitated? I thought James was going to have him be hopeful and inspiring. He looks like he's genuinely mad that he has to go outside and save people. This is not Superman facepalm. Brother. I'm, I'm gonna be real, I think you were overlooking to this, because I don't know what you were smoking typing this up, but damn do I want some, holy shit! Shine clearly had a different approach to, to looking at that image, and um... Buddy, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, I'm gonna be real, you, you really overlooked this one. Um... No? No, um, uh, under no circumstance is he agitated to fight crime. That makes absolutely no sense. I'm not sure where you got that from. Um, you 
you completely overlook the image. That that is all that really can be summed up. I don't know how people get this in, like get the the idea from one fucking image. Shine, no, false. Um, no, he d- does not look agitated to fight crime. The suit looking dark comment that you make that you made. Um, I'm not sure where you got that from because last time I checked, this blue is way brighter than this blue. Um, and also, if you didn't notice, there is battle damage on it. They are not just gonna show the full clean suit. We're gonna wait for the movie. That's the point of the movie. That's the whole fucking point of movie magic, everyone. Shine, please, if you're watching this, which is highly unlikely, reconsider what you are- what you are putting on your community posts. I looked more into the discussion of this comment section just to see what people were responding with, and someone said that's what people thought when they first heard Ledger was going to be the Joker. A little optimism can go a long way, which is true. Heath Ledger, his Joker was probably the most legendary superhero performance in film history. Now, it may even go up with film history in general. The point is, yes, a little optimism can go a long way. The suit looks fine. We haven't seen how the Superman acts. There is a difference between the, how the suit looks and how the character looks. I did say this Henry Cavill's Superman suit looks ass. That's just my opinion. If you disagree with me, that's all right. But there were problems with that Superman's writing in general, which I may go into in a different video because I was having this discussion with my boy Logan. If you're watching this video, what's up? Um, there's a lot go- that could go wrong with with the costume design. But, this costume design, good. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. Just wait until the movie to see more of it. It is a still image. This comment is a bit of a gray area, but I do agree with it. James Gunn made Peacemaker a hit, just let him cook. Which, yes, James Gunn did great with Peacemaker. The cast, Gunn. Everyone working on that show did amazing. The actors' performances were great. James clearly knew what he was doing with the character. And I agree with that. Honestly, let him cook. He can clearly give absolute perfection in terms of his passion for a character. Which clearly, from what he's expressed before, he is a die-hard Superman fan. And he is dedicating this movie to his own father, for Christ's sake. We'll we'll let him cook. Let's just wait until the movie. Let's just wait until the movie. Bro went from, OMG, bro, this goes so hard, to this is not Superman. He lets others dictate his opinions. Now, I can't speak on the he lets others dictate his opinions part, because Shine has never really expressed that in this community post. He's never really said that he agrees with other people or whatever, which could lead to this. But I will speak on the fact that, yes, he did change his opinion. And while this may not be an issue with Shine, it is an an issue for a lot of other comic book fans. People do tend to let others dictate their opinions. I, my, my full opinion, my full opinion, from looking at that image, not looking at any comments... I love it. I think it has a lot of potential. I think Gunn really showed us what a Superman suit should look like. It definitely brings me back to the Christopher Reeve films that I used to watch with my mom as a kid. And this suit just brings me right back to that. I love it. But others have let their opinions be, well, wrapped around other people's fingers. Which is a problem. I... We'll say that. And I don't know if this is the case with Shine. But again, we will just wait and see for the movie. That is how we dictate Superman. This comment really rubbed me the wrong way. Not so much the whole comment as a, as by itself. It's more Shine's response to it, but I'll go ahead and read the actual comment. Please remember what happened with Badinson. Too much skepticism, yet majority of people loves it now. Let's wait and watch the movie and then judge it, which is exactly what I have been trying to make a point about. Everyone was skeptical about 
Robert Pattinson's Batman. Because, well, Robert Pattinson has not had a good track record in terms of his career in the film. Now, of course, he did a damn good job as the character. I'll absolutely love it. And I can't wait to see part two. And this could go the same for David Cornsweet Superman. I think if it's handled correctly by James Gunn, which it definitely seems like it is, and if David puts in the effort, then I think we can go a long way. Because you can't judge this costume. You can't judge this Superman. You can't say, oh, he looks agitated to fight crime. You can't say that until we see it in full action. Shine responds to this by saying, nah, these photos are made so that fans could critique them and give them praise slash criticism. While some of that is true, no, most of it is not true. I'm going to be completely honest, Shine. The photos are made to show what the finished costume is going to look like. They are not changing it, no matter what they what we say. As fans, they are not changing it. They've already gone to production. The suit's finished. It's time to start filming. This comment seemed to get under a lot of people's skin, and I'm not sure why. My friend, you can love and defend the classic Superman outfit without insulting those of us who like cavalry suits. Which, he's correct. This person is clearly in the right mindset. You can absolutely love the classic look without disrespecting people who like the cavalry suit. Now, I put a disclaimer in the beginning of the video that it's my opinion. I have not once thrown any shade on people who like cavalry suits. I believe it's perfectly fine if you do. I personally don't. That is only my opinion, and that is not to change anyone else's. Now, Shine pretty much just responded in a very rude way, if I'm going to put it to be honest. Now, because it is text, it's really difficult to tell the tone of Shine, but he did say, Cavill's suit sucks. So completely disregarding what this person said. Um, Shine, you butchered Cavill's name, first of all. This is, this is not a place to, to disrespect the boy Henry Cavill. Um, yeah, Cavill's, Cavill's suit. I mean, really big argument, I guess. We unfortunately live in a climate where we have to disregard other people's opinions. And honestly, Shine has shown nothing but that in his comment section. But overall, that's not the main point of this video. The point of this video is that let James Gunn cook. The movie hasn't come out yet. Let's wait until we see the actual Superman. Sure, okay. The Superman suit doesn't look incredible. It doesn't look like the best, oh, this is the best costume ever made. It doesn't look like that. Uh, there, sure, you can make an argument like that. But I think it looks great. It's fine. And if you disagree with me, that's also fine. So I think people need to just let... Let each other live. If you have a different opinion than someone, it doesn't matter, okay? It's it's just it's just an opinion. You can both have your own. Now, to me, Superman is a character that means a lot more than I've taught myself in many years. I grew up watching the Christopher Reeve films with my mom and loved every second of them. And including the bad ones. Oh, good God. But again, Superman is a character that represents hope. And some of the arguments that Shine and probably many others have made about this Superman, how he looks based on a still image, let's not forget this is James Gunn's interpretation of Superman. The Man of Steel. The symbol of hope. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He told us not to blow it, cause he knows it's all worthwhile. He's home Let the children lose it. Let the children use it. Let all the children do it. 
a lot of fun making this video, and I hope to make more. Thank you all so much for watching this, and I'd also like to say thank you to the channel regulars, the boys, Logan, Mateo, Stan. Thank you for the support, as always. And uh, thank you to the other channel, Regular, Lucid. Hi, if you're watching this. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope to make more comic-related videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.